Hi everyone, this is Dave from MrDavePizza.com with you again today. I've got another technology tip for my friends out there, whether you're doing some content creation for some games, or playing an old console, or even capturing VHS tapes from an old school VCR that plays tapes. Um, there's a few different ways of doing this. Uh, I've tried a few, but only one method has really worked for me so far. So if you just want me to cut to the chase, this is pretty much it. Um, this is the box for the dongle, which looks like this. It's got RCA and a video port. You can also use S-Video if you have a device that uses that. And basically what this does is convert the RCA format into a digital format, which you can capture either using, I think there's some software that does work for it. Um, I'm pretty sure you can download it. I'll find out. But uh, I've been using this to capture VHS. Um, you just plug it into your USB. And uh, if you do any sort of content creation with programs like OBS or any other uh, capture device software, this will work for it. And um, I have tried some other ones. Here are some of the other devices out there. Um, I have tried some of these other ones with this small square box. It seems to be kind of like a generic model out there. And it these will be fine if you are just wanting to play your Wii on a HD TV. Um, but for capturing, I haven't really found them to be the best. Um, I'll show you an example here of some video I recorded with one of these. So, as you can see on this video, the color is kind of washed out. It's not awful. I mean, if you want to, you can use one of these, but I didn't really find the uh, color adjustments to really be the best. Here's what you get in the um, Diamond VC500 package. You get the dongle, a CD-ROM. It's one of the mini DVDs um, or CDs which does work in some desktop uh, CD-ROMs, so it could be okay. Um, but it's one of the small ones, and I've heard some bad stories about people getting those caught in their slot loading disks. So if you want to, you can pr probably just download the software. As an example, I'm going to be using this um, Wheel of Fortune um, self-contained video game that I got from a garage sale for $2. Uh, these were kind of circulating around early 2000s, and you can find them at thrift stores pretty cheap now. But um, as you see, it has the RCA, which will match up with the RCA on here. And I do not even use the software that's meant for this device. I just head straight into OBS and um, load it up. So first, I'm going to show you how to hook this up and then I will show you how to record using OBS. Okay, so once you have the USB for the dongle plugged in, um, you should see a blue light on here, and that will indicate it's working. I've got it hooked up to the game console, and then what you want to do next is go into OBS. This is OBS. Um, if you do not have the software, I will put a link in the description. Um, this I won't be going into detail about, but uh, it's a popular um, software used by streamers and uh, content creators. So, uh, Okay, so I've already put it on here, but I'll take it off just to show you how it works. Okay. So what you want to do is click that plus there and go to video capture device. Just go with the default name and it'll show up as Connexent Polaris Video Capture. That's what should show up here under a device. So you want to scroll down and make sure you click use custom audio device. When you select the audio device, Select the analog audio in or USB 2.0 video capture. This will connect the sound from the game or console to the USB dongle. 
Okay, and if you have any trouble getting the audio to work, it's not broken. Um, you probably just need to restart the computer. I don't know, that's just the way the um, peripherals work with this particular setup. Um, but as you'll see here, I restarted my system for this one, and it does work. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and start up the game. As you can see, it's loading up. Alright, and you should be able to hear the sound from the game in OBS now. Uh, I'll just show you a quick demonstration of the game. So this, um, this particular game is kind of fun because it has this wheel on it, which spins. I've had a little trouble getting it to spin properly, but I'll give it a shot here. Here we go. All right, spin. And spin! There it is. Okay, everyone, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy learning about how to use the VC500 to record RCA video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for new updates. And thank you so much for watching and enjoy your games.